Violence linked to Al-Qaeda in the Islamic State group is spilling over the border from Burkina Faso into northern Benin. A resident from a village further north, who asked that his identity be protected to avoid reprisals from authorities, said he lives in fear. Concerning the security in my village, the atmosphere is not been the same for some time. We are all afraid because of what we hear. While terrorists have not yet come to his village, for other residents of the border area, terrorist violence spilling over from Burkina Faso, Niger and Mali, as this video from social media purports to show, is already a fact of life. This man, who also asked that his identity be protected from authorities, says a group of terrorists were passing through his village and sought refuge in a woman's home. When she arrived back from the market and asked them to leave, they killed her. They hit her because she started screaming and was scared when she saw their guns. She was told to be quiet and they ended up killing her. Analysts say that extremist violence spreading from Burkina Faso into Western African coastal states like Benin, Togo, Ghana and Ivory Coast is the next stage in the Sahel conflict. Benin appears to be being singled out, with more militant attacks in the second half of 2022 than other coastal nations, according to data from the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project. Asked whether the government has done enough to stop the spread of violence, one expert said, I personally think that little has been done. The Beninese authorities may have been guilty of a blind wait-and-see attitude that cannot be explained, because we could have imagined that this situation could degenerate and expand to the point of spilling over to the coastal borders, which is unfortunately what is happening. The Beninese government has sent large numbers of troops to the north to shore up security and accompany militarised rangers in Penjari National Park, who have also been hit by terror attacks. Analysts say the military response is having an impact, but a recent report by the Klingendale Institute, a Netherlands-based think tank, found many more violent incidents occurred in Benin's north last year than the government has officially acknowledged. In 2022, one European journalist and several Beninese journalists were arrested while attempting to report on terrorism in the north. A consultancy that has been conducting workshops with communities in northern Benin to build resilience to violent extremism says many residents are too scared to talk about the issues. Many of the comments that we got in the research was everyone and anyone could be a terrorist right now. We have no idea who's who, but we're scared to talk about what we're seeing and what we're concerned about. So really just creating a safe space is kind of like a baseline. Benin's government did not respond to an interview request. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Natatingu, Benin.